I started a vlog and you're watching it. Episode one, let's go. Time for something a little bit different today. I'm gonna do some DIY home improvement stuff around the flat, and that is literally one of my favorite things to do ever. But first, a little bit of story time, a little bit of context. So you see, 2020 was the year that I was gonna become a travel vlogger. I had planned this big trip to the US, bought all my camera gear, researched and watched hundreds and hundreds of YouTube videos on how to make travel videos. I was ready to go. But um, then coronavirus happened. Coronavirus! Basically, all my plans had to change. Now, in many ways, this was actually a blessing in disguise. Although, obviously, it didn't seem like it at the time when Trump announced his travel ban and all of my dreams and hopes and everything just you know, evaporated into thin air. Obviously that's a bit dramatic, isn't it? But, you know, in the way that I like to do is try and find something positive out of every situation. It actually allowed me to realize that I probably wasn't ready to take that trip. I have learned so much more about filmmaking and cameras and where I wanna go in the US and what I wanna do with my channel. So much more learning has happened in the coronavirus lockdown window. No! And let's be honest, if coronavirus hadn't happened, then lockdown loners wouldn't have ever come into existence. And I think it's safe to say that everybody's really glad about that. I can't rise like a phoenix from the ashes if my followers don't know about it. So I'm gonna be doing zero travel for the foreseeable future. Now, I love a project, don't know if anyone knows that, and I could not just sit around and do nothing. So I needed to think of some things to do here. Enter the travel wall. AKA the big blue bear wall of nothingness. This is my home office. This is my spare room. It's where all my camera gear lives. So if you want to break in and steal all my stuff. I painted this amazing big blue wall when I decorated the room. And I absolutely adore this color. It's Hague Blue by Farrow and Ball. I'll link it in the description below. I'm also kind of wearing like a matching nail color to this today. I had a periodic table hanging here for a while. I mean, yes, science! You can still see the little hook that we've got up here. I just wanted to do something new with this wall. So I've decided to make it a travel wall, somewhere that I could share my travel memories and photos and stuff. I also think that this space is probably gonna be more of my filming space in the months to come and a bit more of like my YouTube space. So I wanted this to be like my background wall, something a little bit more exciting to look at than this big blue beauty. Now, before we actually start this wall, this needs some serious loving. But before COVID-19, I actually started making a video, which we'll probably never see the live day now. It was help me plan my trip across the US. It's 2020, I'm going to America. It's a happening. I mean, coronavirus pending, fingers crossed. I'm stoked. I'm super stoked, dude. I made a video. Up here, I had a map of the United States. And I just, it couldn't just keep it up there. It was looking a bit tatty around the edges. Obviously I'm not gonna go to America for like a year or so. I'm just like a painful reminder that I wasn't going anywhere. So I decided to take it down, but I put it up with blue tack. Farrow and ball wall, and I used blue tack. Like, what was I thinking? When I took it down, it left these really grubby marks. I'm sure you can see this. And then I tried to paint over it. I mean, I think you can see that it did not go well. Now I could just put some stuff up and not worry about this, but I'm too much of a perfectionist and I just can't, I can't leave it. I mean, look at this. Before I paint this wall and get really mucky, I'm just gonna go and get changed into something a little bit more DIY appropriate. And we're ready to go. Let's do this. I'm gonna have to do some really annoying stuff like move the sofa and put some sheets down. And like, you gotta guess I wanna see all of that in real time. So we'll just, you know, let's just speed this up. later. This is exciting. Oh god, come on. This is a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, come on, use the muscles. Wow, I have not cleaned out here in a while. to be bigger. I mean, I could go to Tesco's, which is next door. Shouldn't really wear scissors around. I don't really want to brave that again, and I try and only go once a week because of 
coronavirus. I could go and get some more dust sheets, but I think this will do. Ah, oh, ripping, ripping. Just, just rip it, just, just rip it. Hey. That was really satisfying. I mean, I've put this over, I think this will be fine. Like I'm only doing this one wall. Hopefully I've got some Hague blue left over, I think, in storage. So we're gonna get that out and we're gonna paint this wall, get this wall ready to go. And there he is. Ooh, that's quite a lot in there. I mean, I know I could just let it dry on, but I just really love getting the roller tray really, really clean. I mean, is that clean enough? Nope. Come on. Come on. I'll just leave that one to soak. I'm covered in paint. I don't know if you guys can see, but I actually like burnt myself on the oven yesterday. Like, look how horrid that is. And I managed to like scrape the top layer of skin off by accident whilst I was doing all of this. Has anyone got any remedies for burns? And also this happened. My hate blue nails chipped. Ugh. These need another coat, but hopefully the wall doesn't. I ordered this a few weeks ago, maybe. A cork travel mat. That's the world, obviously. And then these are all the pieces of the world. And we have to work out how to assemble this on the wall and also which country is which. It's like a giant jigsaw puzzle. I have no idea. Like any, I'm so sorry anyone, but like, where is that? Like, what is that? Oh, it's Africa. <laughs> Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Is that Africa? Yeah, that's Africa. Oh my god, I'm such a moron. I do know things, I promise. What is that? Is that Europe or Russia? Let's get everything out and then we can reassess. A whole bag of like little, little things. Greenland? South America? North America? No? No, it's not, obviously it's not. Where is this? Yeah, it is, isn't it? It is. Because that's Mexico and then this is Alaska. This is America, yes? We've already had a few. I've had a few issues. <laughs> a couple of my little pieces have come, so now I need to find where these go. Oh, some very small territories have, uh, <laughs> have, have been removed from their original sovereign state. Sticky tape. This one, this one fell out. I think, is this Australia? Yeah, this is Australia, everyone. I got it. Something broke off of Australia though. I reckon I can just glue this. Okay, I mean, we'll worry about that later. Instruction for mounting the cork map. Open the packaging slowly and take out all the cork parts from the box. Done. Revert all parts with the bottom side up. Bottom sides marked with an X. The main thing I think is just working out that it's central on the wall and where I want it because we don't want it to be skew if and all over the place. So it's given me like a little key, like the furthest bit of Alaska and then the furthest bit of Russia is touching. I hope that's Russia. It is Russia, isn't it? Because you can see Russia from Alaska, like that top bit, can't you? There's that, that straight. What's it called? It's not the Bering Strait. Those two edges, you can just see me poking over the top like that cartoon, like. That's exactly 150 centimeters across. So I just need to measure that out on the wall. And then the same thing with the 80, the top of Greenland, and then the tip of South America. So we need to mark this out on the wall, maybe with some pencil, not blue tack. One to one scale. Oh, I hate math. I hate math. One square is five centimeters. That means we know how much to space the map out. We need some things. Tape measure, spirit level. These white and black pencils, they just really remind me of DIY and my dad doing DIY and also tradesmen kind of having, you have to have your pencil behind your ear. So whenever I'm doing DIY, I always have one of these pencils. The key with it is to not sharpen it with a normal pencil sharpener, but you have to sharpen it with your Stanley knife. Just like the classic dad DIY thing to do. The wall is 260 centimeters. What's 260 take away 150? Can somebody just work that out for me really quickly? 260 take away 50 is 210, take away 110, so 110. I hate math. So it's gonna basically gonna be 110 split either side. So basically 55 centimeters, we 55 centimeters in either side. So it's 80. I hate math. Hang on a second. Five from the floor. 240, what did I say? 240 take away 
take away 65. It's 200 take away 25. So 175 take away. So the space we're actually going to cover is 175. So then we want to take away 80 because the map itself is 80. Oh my god, this is so boring. Oh, basically 45 at the top, 45 at the bottom. So that's where our map. One hour later. Let's arrange the map out. We'll just see where we're at after that. It's given me a guide, so that's fine. And I do have quite, I think, quite good geographical knowledge. Oh, look, Italy. Look at the little boot. Oh, do you know what? It's not as big as I thought it was going to be, actually. It's not huge. That's what she said. This obviously happens. Ha <laughs> ha. It's like when the world used to be one big landmass before all the pieces drifted and you can see how Africa used to fit into like South America and stuff like that. How fun is that? I just find that amazing. And there's a name for it and I think it begins with P and I'm gonna have to look it up later. Science and geography. Oh. Yes, science. You think I'd be able to spot the UK, wouldn't you? Oh, here it is. Ah! It's a teeny tiny. I love things that are really tiny. I don't know why, you know, like tiny little jam jars and things, anything that comes in miniature. Cause then you can pretend that you're a giant. Madagascar, I think, I think these, are, these are New Zealand. My geography of Asia is awful. Oh my God, this is Iceland. Look, I was like, what's that spiky one? One of these must be Sicily. I've lost Sicily. So nearly there. I just need to find where these go. Is it broken off of somewhere else? Yes, oh, there's some stuff up here. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Canada. They're from Canada. I totally forgot to connect Africa to the Middle East. This bit here, well, Egypt, obviously, and then Saudi Arabia, and then Sinai, the Sinai Peninsula. I just made that up. This is the Red Sea though, this gap, I think. I've been there, for God's sake, like, come on. So I think I'm just gonna leave these little pieces and then we'll just get everything on the wall and then maybe see where those go after that. Let's do the United States first. U.S. of A. Where's my pencil? Oh, I've lost my tradesman's pencil. It's under here. Okay, come on, Alaska, we can do this. So 45 plus 12 is something I should be able to work out. I hate math. I'm so bad at mental arithmetic. Like, I, I, my brain doesn't work like that. I'm very visual. I'm just not numbers. I can't do it. Ugh. 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 So now that we know where America's going to go, let's put the stickies on. It's the best stickage. Move this side only. Just do it. Do what they say. Does anyone else like, really love doing that with, with tape measures? Stick another one here. Here. Sit down. I guess you could just put these wherever you want, but like, I might as well follow the instructions. I like to follow the rules, guys. Rules make it more fun. We all know who that sounds like. Me, that's what it sounds like. One of my many alter egos. I wanted us to sit down and have a little house meeting um, because I think we need to go through the rotor. Come on. Come the fuck on, Bridget. I mean, insert joke about me being Bridget Jones right there. Okay, we're up. America, we have liftoff. There'll be someone out there on the internet who'll be like, that's not right. South America is not straight like that. It's actually an angle. <laughs> we'll bore off. <laughs> oh, we're cooking with gas now, people. Where does that phrase come from? I may have got that from Jim Morse. I'll tell you what, I'm not looking forward to doing all those little islands. <sighs> My neighbor just walked past. He was not wearing a mask. Naughty. So it should be easy because this guy just goes here, right? It began in Africa, a car, a car, a car. Oh, we're getting there, we're nearly done. I'm gonna say that's Burma, maybe. It's Burma a country. I went to Burma and I just chundered everywhere. Now I just clap like a seal. I don't know why they're like, mm, 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 mm. It's like Japan or Hong Kong or Korea. I know, they're all really different. I just haven't been there. No, I've never been to New Zealand. I really, really want to go. It's on my bucket list. It's really outdoorsy and action adventure. I just think I would love it. Still absolutely no idea where this is. Isn't it funny how maps were designed, that like the original map cartographers, I feel like I want to say, were made, I want to say, during the British Empire. And then therefore all of the maps have Britain at the middle, which obviously is absurd when you think about it because the world is round. It's a sphere. so. It doesn't matter where, there's no middle, but for some reason we decided to just put ourselves at the middle of it. So like so many maps have 
the UK in the middle, and I just often feel like, what must it be like to live like far out in another stretch of the world, and just be like, why are all our maps based around Britain? This is absurd, right? And I just really enjoy it that on the emojis on your phone, that they've when you click on the globe, there's like loads of different versions of it, which is show like different bits of the world. Isn't that amazing? What about all these extra gubbins? Almost forgot. It. Top of the morning to you. Hey, oh my god, I found Sicily. Seriously? Where is that? Which country is this? I don't know if it's this way or if it's this way, but I cannot, for the life of me, work out where it goes. Like I've traced around all the edges. Am I missing something really dim here? Like, come on. Look, like something massive. Keep your eyes peeled. Like, seriously, where does this piece go? Is it from the moon? Who knows? Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. So it actually went in here. I got confused by this line and it actually just like wedged in here. So I'm really sorry. I don't know what country that is. Greece, so Turkey. So this is in the Middle East. Oh, Jordan is here and Gaza. Iran is over here, I think. Oman, Saudi, Yemen, Emirates. Oh. Iraq? Oh God, just Google it. Lebanon, Syria and Iraq are in this area. So I'm really sorry, I almost forgot you, but it found its place. This looks so good. Oh. I'm just gonna clear up, uh, move the sofa back, and then we can maybe think about putting some cute, kind of cool things up onto the map. One eternity later. Sorry for the um, the lack of continuity, but I was actually waiting for some stuff to be delivered um, from Amazon, so it's, it's definitely not the same day. I have got all my bits and pieces here, all the stuff that we're gonna put up on the wall. A while ago, I ordered a load of Polaroids online um, of just pictures that I'd taken on Instagram and stuff and, and some old travel pictures and things. Spain, Colombia, Croatia, and... Peru, Inca Trail, and Machu Picchu. I bought these little gold clip thingies, which I thought were kind of fun. I thought I could use these for my Polaroids. And because I might not put those all on the cork, because I like the outline of the cork, I might put some of them like round the side of the map. So I've got like some gold twine that I had left over from Christmas decorations. So I might maybe use that to string them out. I think the most exciting bit was these really cool pins that I got from Amazon. I'll put the links in the in the description. And they're like little drawing pins and all of them have got a flag on them. Fortunately, there is a little guide to work out which one's which. My flag's knowledge is not brilliant. Okay, so I've just organized our little pins. The only thing is just really annoying is that there's only a hundred of them and it doesn't have all of the countries in the world. So, oh, what a shame. So I don't have Egypt and I don't have Australia um, of ones that I've been to. Or maybe I'm just gonna have to go on and order some more. Yeah, let's just get all of these pinned up here and then we'll see where we're at. So you can see I've done quite a lot in Europe, Iceland, and then the US, like, wiped that straight in the middle, and then Colombia and Peru. I have Cuba, and there isn't any of those islands on there, and I was gonna just pin it in Florida, <laughs> just to get it up there, but then I thought politically, that's maybe not the best move. And the other one I put in here was Oman. And the other one that I don't have, which is a shame because I've been there twice and I've got quite a few pictures from there, is Croatia. I don't have a Croatia flag. You know, if anyone finds any of these online that includes those, please just please comment below because I'm really gonna need them. This is really upsetting and, and affecting my OCD. I'm gonna stick these up to the wall with these little command strip thingies. And there we have it, guys. I do have more travel pictures than this, but a lot of it was kind of concentrated on some big trips that I've done. And obviously, as you can see, there's some big sections of the planet that I've not been to. Need some travel ideas for here, please. Hopefully for next year when I go to the US, then I can put a load of pictures up here as well. So yeah, I think I'm gonna stop there for now. Guys, 
because that's my travel map done. Everything up on the wall. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, tell me what you guys think. Let me know. Write in the comments below if you like what I've done, if you've tried it at home, or if you've got any other ideas that I could try, things that I could put on my, my travel wall. If you've liked this video, please like it with a thumbs up. If you have liked it, please subscribe to my channel. There's going to be some more videos and stuff coming soon. Mainly just things around the house at the moment until I can get out there back in the real world and do some traveling and make some more fun videos outside. If there's anything that you want to see, just let me know. It's anything that you want to see me get up to. I mean, not dares, obviously. Things that I might actually do. Happy to be a guinea pig. Got a lot of time on my hands at the moment, but lots of new ideas in the pipeline, so stay tuned. Oh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I think that's it. I think that's it. I've got nothing else to say, okay? Um. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -ba. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ooh, it's a good thing I like the sound of my own voice. Just tell them to subscribe and like. There's nothing else to say. Just watch my videos, they're really good. And even if they're not good, just watch them anyway. Maybe that should be my sign off. Just watch my videos. <laughs>